Hey, this is Emily from the St. Albert Public Library. I'm the Community Outreach Librarian. And today for our STEAM challenge, we are going to be doing bridges. So I came down here to check out some of the beautiful bridges we have right here along the river in St. Albert. You can see right behind me here is the Children's Bridge, which is really cool because it's a special kind of bridge called a suspension bridge. So suspension bridges work because they have these big strong steel cables to hold up the deck, which is kind of cool. Let's have a look at some of the other bridges along the Sturgeon River. A little bit further along the river, we see the trestle bridge, which carries the train across the river. If we take a closer look, we can see that the trestle bridge can support the heavy weight of the trains crossing it, because it has lots of posts holding up the deck. If we walk a bit further along the river, we find the bridge across the river at Peron Street, which is a great example of a beam bridge, which is probably the kind of bridge you're going to build for your steam challenge. So this beam bridge has piers that go down into the water and they hold up the deck above it over which the cars are crossing. So my challenge for you today is to build a bridge of your own. Now I have built mine out of Lego. This is my bridge. It's about 30 centimeters across and as you can see it's inspired by the three billy goats gruff. There's a troll underneath and um, some goats waiting to cross on either side. Okay, so now it's time for you to build your own bridge. You can aim for your bridge to be at least 30 centimeters across and you can use whatever you like to build your bridge. I built mine out of Lego, that works really well, but there's a lot of other things that work really great for building bridges too. Rolled up newspaper and tape, you could use popsicle sticks, straws, you can add string to make it look like a suspension bridge like the one down here in St. Albert. So we can't wait to see what you come up with and what you design. If you build your bridge and you want to share it with us, take a picture and you can post it in the comments here or email it to us at sapl at sapl.ca. We really do love it when you share your work with us and we look forward to seeing what you make. All right, and if you really love bridges, you can always check out books about bridges from the library. We have books on engineering at the library for children that you can read and see some really remarkable um, engineering projects from around the world. They're really interesting to look at, so you can check those out. We also have lots of online resources available on Canopy, Libby, and Hoopla. All right, thank you for doing the STEM challenge today, and we can't wait to see what you make.